In this lecture, let's understand what is a fragment in React and what do we use it for. Here, I have created a brand new React project. In this project, we have three components. First, we have this app component. And then we also have this component one and component two. Now in this app component, we are returning this H1 element as well as this component one. Now we have learned that we cannot return two JSX elements at the same time. In order to do that, we need to wrap it within a container element. And that's what we are doing here. We are wrapping this H1 element and this component one within this div. Now, if I go to component one, from here also, we are returning one H2 element and we are also returning this component two. And in order to return these two elements, what we are doing is we are wrapping it within another div. That's because we have learned that in React, we can only return one JSX element at a time. So in order to return these two elements from this component, we need to wrap it within a wrapper element. So here the wrapper element is this div element. Now let's go to this component two. And from this component two, here we are returning one H3 element. So from here, since we are returning only one JSX element, we can remove this wrapper div. And here we will not get any error. But let's say along with this H3 element, we also want to return a paragraph. And here, let's say this is a paragraph. So you can see here we are trying to return two JSX elements and React is not allowing us to do that. So in order to do that, again, we will have to wrap it within a container element. So let's wrap it within this div element. And now that error is gone. So if we save the changes and if we go to the web page, this is how this application will be rendered. Now, if I open developer console, if we go to this elements tab, you will notice that first we have this div with this ID root. So this div is nothing, but the div which we have inside this index.html. So here we have this div with this ID root. And inside this div only, all other components will be rendered. Right, that's what we have learned. So in the web page, here we have that div. Inside that div, we have another div. So this div is coming from app component. That means it is this div. Okay, so inside that div, we have one H1 element. And then we are also rendering component one. So here we have that H1 element and then we are rendering this component one. Now in component one also, we have a div and inside that we have one H2 element. So we have this H2 element and then we are also rendering component two. So here, if I expand this div, this div is coming from component two. Inside this div, again, we have this H3 element and this paragraph element. So if I go to this component two, here we have this H3 element and this paragraph element. So if you notice, in order to return more than one JSX element from a component, we need to wrap it within a container element. Usually we are using this div element here. So in the web page, you can see that these divs are also rendered, but these divs are not required here. These are unnecessarily we are using it just to avoid the error which React throws when we try to return more than one JSX element. Okay, so this div here, then this div here, then this div here, these divs are just unnecessary. We don't need them actually, but just to avoid the error, we are using it. But in the DOM, these divs will also get rendered. Now, to avoid these unnecessary divs to be rendered in the web page, what we can do is we can use fragments. Now, how we can use fragments? For that, instead of using a div as a wrapper element, what we can do is we can call react.fragment. Let's copy this and let's also provide a closing react.fragment. Let's do the same thing for other components. So here also, instead of using a div as a wrapper, let's use react.fragment. All right. And let's do the same thing in app.js as well. 
Now, if I save the changes and if we go to the web page, it says React is not defined. That's because we need to import this React from React library. So let's go ahead and let's do that. And let's do the same thing in other components as well. So let's do it here. Here we are already importing it. Let's also import it in component one. Let's save the changes now. Let's go to the web page. And that error is gone. And now you will notice we have only one div. And inside that div, we have one h1, one h2, one h3, and one paragraph. So now we don't have any unnecessary divs. And this is what we use fragments for. We use fragments to avoid any unnecessary rendering of HTML elements which we use as a wrapper. Now we can also write this react.fragment in short like this. Okay, so an empty tag. And this should also work. If I save the changes, if I go to the web page, we should not have any error and it should still be working as earlier. Let me also refresh the page here. So if I expand this div, you can see that we only have one div and inside that this h1, h2, s3 and paragraph element has been rendered. Okay, so you can also write react.fragment in short like this, like an empty opening and closing tag. So this is what we use fragments for in React. In the next lecture, let's learn about portals.